Hey everybody, um, I'm Erica Hauser. I'm going to read um, a few poems from an old favorite book by Fanny Howe. This is from O'Clock. Um, read about five. They're very short poems in this book. And many of them are titled with uh, times of the day. So this is 715. Every task works its way to infinity, but blue eyes don't make blue sky. Outside a gray washed world, snow all diffused into steam and glaucoma, my vagabondage is unlonelied by poems. Floral, like the slow motion coming of spring, and error gets into everything, even nothing. This is 12.04. Hive-sized creams are on the chestnut tree, alive for and with bees. Boughs of copper beech give birds a ride for their whistles. Clouds course overhead. The gorse is buttery sweet. It's May, the day the right hand gives to the left. While the lamb pecks at the tit of its mother, it seems the rest of the field has gone to sleep. Now milk drips down its brand new lips and bubbles of grass wet the ewes. She stops chewing and turns her face to gaze at the feast at her waist. Here's 13.13. 13. Moths in a meadow flutter like flowers, freed, their wings tape, take the shape of their mind, the wind. So it's a spirit that keeps me from breaking into pieces. The speed would rip me apart without it. So I should cover the wings of my shadow, ride it. And here's 2.22. Frogs undulate under secrets of mud and slime while solids warm. Soil is turned over for worms hidden by snow. When a person exists in such a state as this, mirrors shake, blood breaks, it's the start of a fairy's tale. And last one, 1833. When orange berries trim the air, I'm ecstatic. Why can't I explain it? Aren't I a poet? No, Fanny, not when you're as happy as that. Never. Take care, everybody. Stay well.